Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Hot mic, hot mic, yeah. So we are Steam Powered Shore. As you can see, we're dressed up as robots. Uh, that much is clear. Uh, what we do is we put on a show and pretend to be robots. And that's probably the simplest explanation. There's a whole backstory and stuff, but uh, the majority of the act is, is exactly what you see. We're, we're robots and we sing music. Amazing. Yes. Essentially, yeah. I play bass and I sing, and we all write songs, and uh, that's what I do. I, I do something similar. I, I play guitar and some other instruments, and and then I write some songs, and that's what I do. I play guitar, accordion, and I write some songs. That's what I do. And I also do a lot of the graphic design and illustrations. And so does this guy right here. So yeah, we're all self-contained and. It's pretty fun. You should definitely check it out. Awesome. Awesome. What's our concert? Yeah. We have a concert starting at 6.30 p.m. tonight. So contrary to any other, any other times you may have seen, 6.30 p.m. is what we are told is our performance time. So we will perform at 6.30 p.m. Uh, how many of you have a, a pass to go see that? Wonderful. Cool. Uh, we're excited. Yeah, we've never played in Seattle before, so it's a uh, yeah. you know, actually, uh, No, no, we've played uh, four times before, actually. In Seattle? So, yes. I've never, I don't We've really actually know. been to Everett before, yeah. so... No, so. same thing, come on. <laughs> hey, hey. Our first time was way better! just because that seems to be the most popular thing in these panels, when they're in, uh, titled Q&A. Uh, so we're getting into that. Uh, I think we have a few little tidbits of new announcements to make. Uh, not much. Well, a lot more that we can't make, so... A lot of, a lot of announcements we, we can't say anything about, but uh, we are a band, so we put out music. We also put out a comic book, uh, as well as videos and, and fun stuff like that. So the first thing is we're coming out with a Blu-ray slash DVD slash audio CD combo of our uh, show last summer called uh, Walter Robotics Expo. Yeah. So that's going to be available this holiday season. They'll have our, our live show on Blu-ray or DVD to take home and watch it in your bathroom TV if you want. <laughs> Whatever you prefer. I don't judge, you know, what you want to do with there is your own personal. For those people who have never seen one of our shows before, we're thinking this is the perfect opportunity to show what the show is, exactly as if you sat in a concert a year ago and watched our show. It's changed a lot since a year ago. It's changed quite a bit since a year ago, but it's a great snapshot of that, of that sort of time period where Hatchworth was introduced and, you know... And historical documentation. Yeah, that's what we like to do. But uh, it's, it's, it's lovely. There's, uh, we, have, we had a uh, Matt Smith doing drums on that show, yeah. and Michael Reed was doing a bunch of instruments and backing harmonies with us. So it has, a, it has about six people on stage at one point. So Yeah, there's there's a, a cameo by Professor Elemental. Yeah, he's Ooh, there. Yeah. He, uh, he helps uh, jam down with us on Brass Goggles, which is one of our uh, more popular songs, so that was fun to have him on stage with us. He's an amazing man. Uh, that's coming out soon, I think within the next few weeks or so. Just in time for the holiday season. Whatever <laughs> holiday season they celebrate. You can make a new one. It's called uh, Buy Steam Cards for Axe Merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the title of the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we were going to do a, you know, a DVD again, but you know, Blu-ray is a little cooler with the high-definition footage that we have, so we didn't want to you know, have a thousand Blu-rays and a thousand DVDs and try to store these in our apartments or houses or something, so naturally we're like, let's just combine them all and yeah. So you can buy three. So you get the audio CD, which is the songs from the live show, you get the, and then you get the live show DVD in Blu-ray format, which, you know, Hollywood movies are doing now all the time. 
Yeah, I mean, this might be a question that comes up later on, but we do all of our own merchandising, and uh, so we have long discussions about just exactly that. Should we do a DVD? Should we do a uh, tape version? Should we put it on a cassette? A tracks! Spider-Max! What about a vinyl? Yeah! Well, maybe not a vinyl. I guess they don't like that idea. Pop up the paper, paperback pop up. Uh, so that's our that's our big announcement. We've already been hinting at that for quite a, a while now. If you follow us on our social streams, uh, we're pretty active in our own uh, social media circle, which is Tumblr, uh, Facebook, Twitter, as well as uh, our own website <laughs> forums. Yes. So and a little bit of YouTube too. We're, we're what we call heavy streamers. I'm not heavy on the no, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> First, uh, just go right into your thoughts and think about them as you're saying. I know, right? That's the best way. And, now, and then we get into this awkward situation where we're talking about what just happened. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I think we have a, 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 some other announcements that Sam would like to... We did, uh, did we already talk about the DVD? We did. Yeah. Oh, we have a... Well, I mean, this is a, maybe a little early, but we do have an album we have been working on. And it probably won't be out by this year, but... We are really excited for it. It's something. It's about something that we're all passionate about: space travel. So, just imagine the robots in space and uh, the crazy adventures they'll have. Just you know, imagine. Of course. Of course. Uh, th I mean, that's not our number one goal. Our number one goal is to have good music, catchy tunes for you guys to listen to. So it's nice to have a theme in space, but we the songs will hopefully hold up the pedigree of Sea Power Draft. Of course, you will be the judge of that in due time. We've, uh, we've had fun, you know, theming our albums. Our first one was based on our uh, acoustic performances, I suppose, because uh, that's what we were doing at the time. That's entitled Album 1. Two Cent Show was kind of a road trip across America, so it was really folk-influenced, maybe a little bit of early rock and roll. And then MJ3 was definitely our, our rock pop album that was it's like... The one where, where we made it, we made a million dollars. <laughs> that's what it was all about. And uh, this next one is uh, completely different, unlike all the others. But you're going to hear a lot of folk, pop, rock, all that kind of stuff mixed into it. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, what's it? it's called Vice Quadrant. So there's the number theme going. Quadrant. Album one, two cent show. Yeah. Uh, what was this the third one? Five. MK3. Like third, third, third album. Yeah. yeah. MK4's fourth album. Mark, Mark, five. And so on. We'll keep that up as long as we can come up with witty names for albums. So look for, <laughs> look for album four, Vice Quadrant, in 2015 when it's done. Wait, no, I, was like, I was thinking of like a, a date that was like ridiculously in the future, and I realized that 2015 is next yeah. year. Yeah. My mind, 2026. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah. Year 35, 35. Well, <laughs> well, you think it will be out next year? I don't know. I, I think, think it's, it's done and live. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Have it done sooner if it weren't for this cool project that we're working on that we can that we can't say anything about. Oh, no. Well, no, 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 no. Legally, we can't say anything. Yeah, so. Peter Jackson would totally know. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro would just have our hands. <laughs> Michael Bay is just not very happy. That's, not guy that you want. That's good. Say the third one, the one that no one really doesn't know. Uh, and kind of a, a lower announcement before we end the I'm working on. What? I'm working on the Steam Power Draft children's book, and that'll be released sometime next year. Uh, it's a children's book. It's, it's, a, it's a cool children's book. It's cool for adults to read, too. There's there's some you know winks and nods. I liked it. I mean, I've, I've read it, and it's funny. It's good. <laughs> if I was to hand it to you, it would be, it would be my, the book that I would want to check out from the library all the time. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think it's, it definitely matches your reading level, so... <laughs> I just, I mean, I gotta have pictures, so... <laughs> I had to look up a couple of words, I'm not gonna lie. There's pictures. <laughs> uh, besides from that, I'm also working on my own children's book uh, that's coming out this Christmas. Okay. I haven't said anything about it, so, but, um, yeah, I, I don't have a title. The title's always the hardest thing, but it's... The placeholder is Putting Bat's Big Night Out. So, if you know what Putting Bat is, uh, yeah, so... Uh, what? Robots Christmas. Robots Christmas, there it is. That's the holiday. That is the holiday that you buy our It's a good name for holiday, too. Buy our stuff. <laughs> Make it a very robot Christmas. Shall we open up the Q&As? Let's open up some Q&As. I guess I'll use this. Let me just turn that on. This one, too. No. Uh, no. There we go. Hello. I can 
can just run these down to people. Oh, nice. Unless we have a handler who wants to do that. We have, I don't think we have it. No? Okay, I guess it'll be me. Oh, I mean, maybe we can Wait, you're going to pick questions, dude? I mean, no. Are you guys ready for Q&A? Is that something you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> no? Keep talking. Okay, so we should just... Is that how we should do it? Yeah, usually we have, uh, usually have someone do that. It might be nice to have someone to do it for us. Okay. Just be... Oh, no. Maybe we know oh, the way no, our this handler one. is. This is the birthday girl. Yeah, usually have a handler. I'm going to bring you my blood insurance in my Well, it's, maybe we just have to... Just, have we'll just come back here, we'll just point them out, and then we'll just have them shout their question yeah, out. Yeah, let's see how shouting works. And then if that <laughs> we'll get closer. Yeah, we'll, if it becomes a problem, we'll do the... Good idea. So, uh, the questions, raise your hand, and we'll pick right here in front. First of all, honey, I really love where you look. It's really gorgeous. In the form of a question. In the form of a question. <laughs> and that's a nice question. <laughs> John Bull top hat. And that's the style. John Bull. John Bull. Is it also called the Dead Man? Uh, the Dead Man is also a variation. You can get that on. Okay, my bad. As well. E Mallow. <laughs> John Bull. John Bull and the Dead Man. Okay. Yeah. John Bull and Tolto. So those are the three things to look up on Google. It's a pretty good Johnny Depp movie, too. <laughs> Next question. XQ. Um, let's go. Oh, okay, so let's go to pick Gigi the Giraffe. <laughs> Thank you for coming, by the way. Gigi the Giraffe is a character that is a puppet, and this lovely lady is dressed up as Gigi. What whatever happened to whatever happened to Baby Sam? Uh, I, uh, not really, probably not. I, there's more, there's, I kind of just wrote the first one, and I'm like, eh, this is kind of dumb. <laughs> so you actually have made it though? Uh, no, I haven't made it at all. Uh, yeah, it's canon, don't get me wrong, but no, I don't know. <laughs> no, I just, uh, there's so much stuff to work on, and I'm, I'm actually really bad at time management, so I'm, I'm an idea person, and then I just kind of have all these ideas, and I never actually, so I had to, I had to cut that one off. Gave it to you guys. Sam was uh, actually our drummer, so just in case it's framed, it didn't work. Before I was a robot. Yeah. Uh, and then Sam became a robot with us up on stage. Uh, so you had an idea to make I wrote, I wrote a script for a comic about what happened to the drummer, Sam. And uh, it was just a silly thing. It was just like. Uh, the, you know, I just wanted to move on. After making, after working with these two lovely individuals, like, I would rather do work on projects together instead of alone, so it's nice to have, to build that. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've seen some great interpretations of it online, so I'm really grateful for that. You did? Oh, great. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Next cue. Arms up. You. You, sir, with the facial hair. <laughs> so, um, I never heard of you before, and I saw you on the Oddities episode. Did you get many people who first were exposed to you in that episode? The, the question was, uh, uh, basically, you... <laughs> how, how do I perform that? Uh, you were on Oddities. Uh, do... do uh, do people recognize you from that? Did they first get interested? Yeah, in we've had we've had a small group of people who have come to our shows just because of that episode. So yes, and it sounds like another. You can add, add to that small list. You can actually say that's the defining reason I'm here. Oh, cool. Yeah, we were on an episode of Oddities, uh, San Francisco. We live in San Diego, so the producers wanted to use uh, 
us twins. Something was, was dead, dead, so it was twin based. So so they wanted to use us somehow. So they were like, uh, we can make this work. Uh, I, I hope you know that those shows are all completely real. <laughs> <laughs> so with that in mind, uh, that's all we can say about that episode. <laughs> but yes, we we had so many takes, and the one they, the, the takes they picked were really funny, but. There were some other ones that probably weren't as appropriate. <laughs> that one actually was not very appropriate. If you've seen the episode, we're, we're, comment, we're saying funny things. They left an, inso an incest joke in, but they, they took out the hoarder's joke. It was like, what? Well, we can't comment on it. They were like, sorry, that's competition. You, you can't use that joke. But, but it's funny. But it was fun to be on, and, and yeah, they, they flew us out for San Francisco for a day, made us dress in different clothes to pretend like it was multiple days. And it was magical. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna go right here. The question is, would we ever re-record some of our old songs, like Brass Goggles, etc., uh, with Sam's vocals as like a C quality? We're not opposed to that. I think we've, I think we've talked about it a few times, but uh, it's just about how time, how much time we have. Um, the live shows are probably the best place to get that. Uh, the, uh, the only thing that's got, come comes close to that is is the uh, Walter Robotics uh, uh, yeah. Blu-ray combo. The, the audio CD doesn't have just the songs, without any bits, and they're just cut down to the songs. So that's the closest you'll get. Though it is a live uh, show, so it has that live feel to it. But as far as studio albums go, we haven't we haven't had any plans, but we definitely discussed it. Yeah, it's it's a lot of going back and stuff, and we're trying. We have a lot of projects going forward. Oh, that's the right opportunity. Yeah, you know, never know. We'll see. Yeah. Good question. All right. Uh, the with the long copperish hair. Lady Oh, it's a hatchworth. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I didn't. I had to say ball as a as a button. So. <laughs> um, I just love the comic so much. I really. I'm, I'm a, a lore geek, so um, I appreciate that you do that, and I think it's a really cool style, and just love everything about it. But um, I wanted to know when it got started, and when Sam you came onto the project, and if you start, you know, like, and also, how far in the future, like, in terms of the script, do you have it planned? And just tell me about it. Yeah, let's talk about the the comic a bit. So, we started back in 2010, I believe, was when we first started the comic, and things were a lot different. Um, it was during, uh, when, when Upgrade was leaving the band, so I actually had to go back and change stuff, and so I kind of held off on it, uh, and then John left, and it was, okay, more, we gotta rewrite everything. Uh, it, didn't get, it didn't get off the ground again until, uh, Sam came on board to kind of like start, you know, fleshing out the script, and we, we basically knew that we need to get this comic out before another one of us leaves. <laughs> so, because at least then it's done, you know. It's like, yeah. so yeah. So it's been going really great. Um, I think the final, the final graphic novel will be about, I don't know, over a hundred pages, definitely. And how far along do we have that? Uh, we have pretty much the entire story done, and we have it storyboarded out. Uh, yeah, I, you know, the dialogue and you know, some of the, the panel layouts is only so far ahead, but I think right now we're about 20 pages ahead scripting-wise, and we're trying to keep it like close to that. So, yeah, I need to get back and draw that, but I'm here in Seattle, so... But when I go home, expect more comic. And that's, uh, yeah, Sam is actually, you, there's a, a side comic that you did, uh, yeah. Hatchworth and the Blue Ghosts. There's, yes. there's so much that we, there's so much of this, of the Steam Paragraph story that we want to tell, and the comic is, was, I feel like it was, it was pretty, a pretty challenging thing for just Bunny to undertake, and that could be, I mean, just, I mean, there's so much to tell. So we kind of, when, when I came in, I was like, I, you know, I really, I love drawing, I love, I would love to work on a comic, and just help, help the story come to life, and, and we really, uh, honestly, when those, those few times that we got together to do storyboarding and stuff, stuff went really smoothly. And um, once we have some more time to just kind of sit down and chart it out, we'll probably finish it up eventually. But, uh, you know, even after that's finished, even if it is 100 pages long, there's still, 
stuff before and after. So there's a lot of stuff that we'd like to explore eventually. And not just in comic books either. But um, sorry, yes. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to know more. Fair enough. Uh, let's have another. Let's have another. I'm gonna, this, you right here. Yes. You rebel you. Do robots actually like ears, or, or, robots like or are they just made up? Or they made up. Love them. Robots, <laughs> robots' favorite cereals is Gyrios. <laughs> <laughs> and a robot's least favorite vegetable is gear sprouts. Uh, yeah? 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 Now, seriously, eat your veggies, okay? <laughs> that's, not, that's not a joke. It's serious. Thank you. I hope your parents know where you are. Excellent question. <laughs> She's here. Um, let's do have another question. Okay, I'm gonna do you with the uh, golden copper. You're welcome. Um, I know it's probably breaks a lot of fanfare and art about the but is it sometimes weird? Like, no. no, just keep the Michael Reed and David stories coming. <laughs> <laughs> the question was, I know it's great uh, seeing all the artwork from fans and stuff, uh, but is it, is it ever kind of weird? I don't think it's Weird is so subjectable. I mean, you know, when you put something out there, you know, people are going to have fun with it and react to it differently. So, yeah. I don't know, I mean, some stuff it, it might be laughable, but when it comes down to it, it's like, you know, this is great. There's nothing really that creepy out there that I don't think we can wrap our brain, you know, we can kind of put ourselves in a position that, you know, we're these characters, we're not, yeah, so, you know, a lot of it's really fun and really, really good. A lot of the art and the fan fiction. Yeah, no, nothing's been too weird. I mean, we've had people send us their hair and letters. <laughs> I think we're pretty, uh, what's the word? Desensitized from <laughs> It's a good word, yeah. Don't send us your hair. <laughs> Like a fan bot with like eight arms. I think that they'd probably do the best hugs. 
So they wouldn't need a fan bot that they are. I don't know if one exists out there yet, but if they do. The challenge is <laughs> I mean, I do, I recognize people when they usually, generally, from the internet, especially fan bots. I, really I try not to point it out because, I don't know, I feel weird. It's just as weird as you probably do, but it's, yeah. it's like, oh, a famous person, okay, oh, I'll take your picture, no problem. So, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're going to keep, we're going to move to another question. Uh, you, sir, right here in front. Yeah, probably not. But, but maybe. But maybe. <laughs> 